So Skelly joined the family when my daughter decided to get married on Halloween in our backyard. So I wanted it to be spectacular and I knew it was the only way that my husband would buy it for me was if I got it for the wedding. So that's how Skelly came into my life. And um, he's really difficult to store. So he's remained in the front yard for most of that past year and a half now, I guess. And um, since I couldn't put him away, I decided I'd start dressing him up. So Valentine's, he was Cupid and that was a lot of fun and then i made him a leprechaun and he was a graduate and he was a mother so he is non-binary he can go either way he's been a lot of fun a lot of interaction with neighborhood and neighbors on next door he has a facebook page skelly bones on gervin and um, it's just been a lot of fun and um when i dressed him up in his valentine outfit i got a card in the mail it just um it was right when COVID kind of started hitting and everybody was a little down and she was just saying how much it brought joy to her life and a smile to her face every time she drives by. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And so that was my incentive and I get a lot of that on Facebook and everybody just says he makes them happy and I haven't gotten very many negatives. I've got one that says it's kind of creepy, but then everybody else says it's not creepy, it's not deep, it's just fun. So <laughs> first I had a neighbor contact me because her daughter loves Skelly and she lives around the corner there and she asked if she could surprise her and dress him up for her birthday and I said sure so she came over and she dressed him all up and then I had a girl reach out to me on next door and she said that um, it was her husband's birthday and she'd love to surprise him if I could dress him up for his birthday and I was like well sure you know what does he like she goes well he likes to mountain bike and he likes Bud Light a lot so um, I used this surfboard here for signs, so I'll put signs there. And so I put a happy birthday, Tom, this bud's for you. And then I made a big Bud Light can and put it in his hand. And Tom was very surprised and he liked it. So that was fun. I actually moved from Hidden Hills Country Club. So now, yeah, the rules are gone. So yeah, that's kind of also awesome. I don't have any rules to follow. How hard is it to dress him up? Uh, well, I used to try and dress him while he was fully assembled and standing up. Um, and I can't barely reach the top of his head with the, the ladder that I have. So the first outfits were a lot of tape and plastic and just kind of putting it all together piece by piece and then putting it on him. But then I realized I could do it a lot better if I take him apart. So now I have to enlist the help of my husband and we have to take him down, take his torso, take his head, take his arms off, and I sew his clothes. So this past Christmas he was full on Santa Claus and he had his little skell elves. I had little skeletons dressed up as elves and um, I was able to make him look a, a little bit more professional. And this clothes here uh, is the first time I tried to put just regular clothes on him. So he's what got, does he wear? it's a 5X top and the pants are actually 44, but I had to cut the sides in the back in order to get them on. He has like 50 something inch hips. I love him. He's a lot of fun. He's making a lot of people happy, which is fun.